it's really interesting that as we celebrate the 150th anniversary of the Morrill Act, where innovation, bringing cutting edge ideas to the marketplace as rapidly as possible to our communities to really make a difference in the quality of life, was at the core of our founding. And now as we think about uh, moving forward in the 21st century, it seems like many, many universities have adopted that land grant spirit and decided that in order for America to be competitive, for us to have the prosperity we need in small towns and big cities, we have to work in this global environment and we have to put at the forefront the way in which we can move innovations more rapidly uh, into the marketplace and into communities not simply because they make money for a university, but because they make a difference in the lives of people and our overall competitiveness. Over the past few years, we've looked at the way in which we're, we were organized to deal with this innovation pool, this innovation set of activities that are so important for the, for the modern global research university. We've uh, reformed MSU technologies to be a better place to deal with intellectual property. We've created Business Connect as a way in which people from outside the university and also faculty inside the university can find a better way to make the uh, inherent connections, the way in which we can work together in ways that ideas can move back and forth, problems can be identified, in addition to our normal ways of working uh, through outreach and engagement that occurs in departments as well as MSU Extension. Now we've started a new endeavor called uh, MSU Innovations. MSU Innovations is really designed to pull together some aspects traditionally uh, part of the venture capital world uh, in order that we might be able to uh, bring some executive expertise into our companies and our ideas in ways that they're smoother for us to move those from the laboratory into some business kind of setting. The opportunity for students to be supported as entrepreneurs uh, so that they themselves can be part of this genuinely entrepreneurial cycle that's developing, not simply in Michigan or the United States, but all around the world. So what we wanted with Spartan Innovations was this new venture, this new tool that could help us make uh, these good business decisions around ideas that our faculty and staff have. Not because we're a business, but because in order for those ideas to flourish in the marketplace, they have to have really sound business rationale that the people around them who understand what it takes to run that company, to take that idea and move it into a form that can be really useful to people and not simply writing a paper or giving a presentation. And that's what Spartan Innovations is designed to do. Bring that real world experience of what happens in business and bring it to the university in ways that our students, our staff, our faculty can learn so that if they want to be in that space when they leave Michigan State, they're better trained, better able to do that. At the same time, it gives our ideas, our faculty, and our, and our staff and our students a real chance for their ideas to take the shape that they would like in this entrepreneurial environment. I really want to thank the MSU Foundation uh, for its support not only of uh, Spartan Innovations and these ideas, but also for many of our other entrepreneurial activities as they wanted Michigan State's ideas to be at the forefront around the world. We also want to acknowledge that there'll be a board of directors for Spartan Innovations in ways that keep it grounded in its purpose. Not to, to run sort of counter to university values, but to work with university values, with the best of academic values, and put this entrepreneurial spirit uh, together in ways that will be very exciting and path-breaking.